right, let's talk about how you can get a process builder rule out of your sandbox and into your production environment. Here I am in my sandbox and I've just created a process builder rule. Let's say that I've activated it, I've tested it, it works the way I want. This is the one I wanna put in production. How do we do it? Now notice I've called this one proof because I wanna prove that it works. And if we go to my list of process builder rules, you'll see there it is and it's just called proof. Well, we wanna put this process builder rule into an outbound change set. That's actually how we move things from sandbox to production. So I'm going to go to my outbound change sets and I'm going to create a new one. Now you can call your change set whatever you want and make sure you put a description in there so you remember what this change set is for. And I'm going to add my process builder rule to the change set. Now what you might notice is there's no actual option for process builder. Instead you want to use something called flow definition. And if you notice, my process builder rule is there under the flow definition section. Now you can add other things, you can add profiles, but when you're done with your change set, you're gonna upload that change set to let's say your production environment. You have to give it a minute, it takes a few minutes to go from sandbox to production, but eventually in your production environment, you'll see that as an inbound change set. And you're just gonna want to deploy your change set, just like it was any other change set from sandbox to production. And depending on how many things are in your change set, it might take a while. You can view the status of your deployment. And when it's done, that's it. Whatever you put in your change set should be in your production environment. Now, something to keep in mind is that your process builder rule will be in production, but it'll be inactive. It won't automatically be activated. So even though the automation rule is there, you still need to click into it and turn it on or activate the automation rule for it to fire. So when you create a process builder rule in Sandbox, make sure to look for it under flow definitions in the outbound change set area. And that's how you're going to get it from Sandbox to production. Just don't forget to turn it on. And if you enjoyed this video, you should know I do a live webinar every Tuesday and Thursday where you can come and learn something about Salesforce and ask me questions live. Hope to see you there.